What's up, everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. So a large chunk of my audience are people who are tired of their current job, they love to code on the side, and they want to make it a career reality. From math teachers to lawyers to restaurant cooks, there are people from all over the map, and I love it. You guys are the best. That being said, I keep seeing the same roadblocks in your way. So in this video, I'm going to give three reasons why I think many of you are not succeeding at learning to code and landing that job. And just a side note, I'm still on the road, so I'm making use of the equipment that I have, which is currently a webcam, so bear with me. All right, so number one, you're caught up in the courses more than you are the content. So I get lots of comments about the courses that I recommend. Like a while back, I released my coding blueprint that takes you from A to Z. Then after many people requested it, I released the AWS slash Python blueprint. Then a few weeks later, I saw that Coursera had these web development paths that were taught by meta engineers. And so I did a video on that. And then maybe before all of that, I did some videos about some Udemy courses like Angela Yu's course, Colt Steele's course, the courses that are like the web developer blueprint in one course that I thought were helpful too. But what happens is I recommend a course and some people say, hey, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to work all the way through it. I'm going to change careers. Great. And then a couple weeks later, when I mention the next course, I get comments like, hey, you had recommended that one. Should I keep doing that one or are you now recommending this one? Should I stop this one and, and start the new one now? And the answer is no. And this is the point. All of these courses teach you the same thing. So HTML is HTML. Doesn't matter who teaches it. JavaScript is JavaScript. Python is Python. It's all variables and loops and conditionals. You're going to learn all of those things regardless who teaches it or regardless of what course you take. The key is nailing down the content, not fumbling around with the courses. Each one of those pathways that I recommended will take you from beginner to job ready. And if I take this one and you take another one, we're going to come out at the end and emerge into the same bucket of knowledge. You're going to know HTML and I'm going to know the same HTML because it's just one thing. So if you started out with the coding blueprint, stick with it. Don't do anything else. Stick with it. See it through to the end. So that's number one. Don't focus so much on the courses. Focus on the content. Nail down the content and you'll do well. Number two, you don't have a convincing enough why. You have to stay motivated during this process. You really do if you're self-taught. You got to stay motivated. You got to have a fire lit or you'll fail. For me, I fell in love with coding. I started learning HTML. I started learning CSS. I couldn't get enough of it. I just loved it. It made me really dislike my current job. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to code. And then a bunch of people got laid off in my department. And I found out that in the coming future, like six months or whatever, I was going to get laid off too. I mean, it was inevitable. So I thought, why not make this a career change? And plus, I wasn't making a lot of money and I had a lot of motivating factors. I think we were on our third child and all of these things together just really motivated me and nothing could stop me. I had a fire lit and I succeeded. Now, let me ask you, why are you learning to code? Why do you want to change careers into development? Is it the love of coding? Are you sick of your current job? Are you looking for a more stable life for your family? Do you want to level up your income? By the way, there's nothing wrong with that. But overall, it needs to be more than, hey, this sounds like something fun to do. That will never get you there. So figure out your why, get that fire lit, and use that as your motivation throughout the journey. Now, number three, you're worried about the interview process. So many people are worried about the actual coding interview and job application process before they even equip themselves, right? They're just, they just started learning to code and they're like, oh, I dread the day that I'm going to have to do this coding interview or these algorithms before these great developers. I don't think I can do this. I don't want to have to go through that. I'm just going to stop now. The problem is you haven't equipped yourself yet. Don't worry about that. Once you start learning to code, you start building projects and you get familiar with the syntax and you get more confidence and you start doing algorithm training and preparing for that job interview, then you'll be ready and you won't feel like you do now. Now, that's not to say it's easy. The job interview process in the coding exam, they're hard. Nobody likes them. I don't like them. I don't do well in them, but I'm equipped to pass it and those people can tell. And when you're just starting out, you're not ready, you're not equipped, and you don't have to be. You don't have to carry that burden yet. Enjoy the process, worry about that later. And that's number three, and that's all I have today. 
Are you learning to code? Are you running into any of these roadblocks or any other roadblocks? If so, let us know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.